King Crab. <laughs> I have never in my life seen one up close and personal. Oh my God. I had no clue whatsoever what I was going to be doing with that thing. Ooh, look at it. Yeah. Oh. When he lifted that King Crab, I was just like, mmm, mmm, get some butter and a metal bucket, because I'm going to town. Today's challenge is going to be a real test of the level of your individual ability to create something special. You'll all make one crab dish each. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. After you've finished that dish, come to a consensus of which dish you're going to put forward for me to taste. And then I'll have one crab dish from the blue and one crab dish from the red. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. This is a challenge you do not want to lose. OK, 45 minutes from now. Go. Let's go. This king crab challenge will test the chef's creativity with one of the most sought after seafoods available. Each chef will prepare one crab dish. Then each team must choose one of those dishes to present to Chef Ramsay. A true chef runs into the kitchen and has a game plan already set. I was already thinking about what the sauce was going to look like on the plate. So it was just a matter of my hands catching up with my imagination. Guys, I just dropped two, just to let you guys know. Already? Yeah. I know what I'm doing in the kitchen, and I understand what Chef Ramsay looks for and where his palate is. Can't believe how many legs you're using for that sauce. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm Dumbass idiot. Have you seen the chinois, Giovanni? Excuse me? Have you seen the chinois? No, I haven't. Halfway, yes? Chef, any chance you could find a chinois for us or no? I can find you a chinois. He Fuck yourself, Paula. Yeah. yeah. Would you like a latte? It was just a bad call for Paula. It was, it was embarrassing. Sorry, Chef. Let's go. Last 10 minutes, guys. How do you want to do it? Let's, uh, let's plate and let's give it a little taste. The chefs have completed cooking their dishes, and it's now time for the teams to choose which dish they will present to Chef Ramsay. Yeah. Let's go. You got to make a decision. That's the most important thing here, gentlemen. Hurry up. Here. You know, I've been pretty confident with the dishes I've made in these challenges. I'm, uh, you know, I won two. Not a lot of crunch. It's very soft. You think so? I hope you're tasting each other's dishes. Come on. You think he's going to have a problem with the shell on No, I don't think so at all. I left it there for a purpose. If we're presenting Andrea's dish to Chef Ramsay, the first thing he's going to say is, what the fuck are these shells on the plate for? Do you expect me to eat the shells? Paula, what are we tasting over here? Right here, broth. And I mean, there's a little piece of the crab. I just kept the crab clean with some vegetables in there and some chilies. Paula's dish looked the best out of all of them. It was a very, very good dish. Confirm amongst yourselves. Come on. I thought my dish was the one to go with. Um, I believe I am the strongest on the team. That's the vanilla, the sweetness, and then you've got sort of the spicy lobster, but remember, the sauce is going to be oh, spicy. Oh, man, I like that. When I tasted Ben's dish, I was really blown away with the vanilla and the crab. It's really good. I thought, you know, it's different. Oh, want to yeah. go with Ben's? You know, I personally felt my dish was the best, but I didn't want to cause a fuss. I like Paula's and Andrea's. Paula had an absolutely beautiful dish, but I really wanted my dish to be up there because I'm definitely ready to show Chef Ramsay what I have. Let's go for flavor. Let's go for fucking flavor. Andrea knows what she wants, and she pushes for it. I just kind of feel bad going, you know what? It's going to be my dish going up there. It's it. I like it the best. Go with Andrea's. Andrea. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Are you happy with the selection? Yes, yes chef. chef. Two dishes. Forward, let's go. It's an honor when people recognize your flavors in your cooking, but it's uh, definitely nerve-wracking being up there and your team banking on you for a win. He's going to be pissed that there's a show on the plate. OK. Andrea, what is it? Uh, we have two king crab legs, and it, it's slightly crusted in macadamia nut and asparagus, and there is a pear-infused butter. Doesn't look the most glamorous of dishes, does it? Her dish looked like a disaster on a plate. It looked like a crab with the runs. The idea of the shells for what? Presentation? Uh, it was... Cigarette box? <laughs> I simply wanted the diner to be able to experience the, the crab as a whole, and I didn't want to take that away. What, like a memento? Yeah, there you go. Possibly some earrings tonight. Do you think the customers want to fight through that? It was embarrassing that I went out on a limb and I kept shell on the plate. Don't do that at home. It looks a mess. 
That is bland and disgusting. Right, Ben. Yes, Chef. What is it? The crab was prepared in a bit of sriracha butter, so it has heat to it. Um, it was not a very rich sauce, so that it wouldn't coat it and just saturate it in butter. Um, so I took some sriracha, a bit of cream, and whole butter, and then I literally put the pre-blanched king crab leg into the sauce, covered it with plastic. Um, the and sauce, I used the raw crab legs, combination of fennel, I used it, shells. I put the shells and whatnot in the RoboCoop, just to pulse a bit. To Dude, what is wrong with you? Just shut up. Uh, I put we a reduced whole vanilla bean at the end, just to really intense, sort of a subtle shallot flavor as well. <laughs> Right. Yes, Thank you. Thank you, sir. There's only fucking two things on the plate. <laughs> Presentation, nice. When Ben was presenting his dish, and I just kind of saw Chef Ramsay's face, I was thinking, damn it, you know what? We should have put my dish up there, because it would have totally blown Ben's dish away. I've got king crab and asparagus. And we've gone to an extraordinary length to get that on the plate. But it doesn't have the wow factor. I am disappointed. Paula and Danny, get your fucking dishes up here. Yes, chef. Take those two back. I asked for creativity. Ooh, my heart was pounding when Chef Franzi called me up there. I was like, whew, here we go, man. Thank you. Paula, what is it? Looks lovely. Chef, uh, I made a basil coconut broth. The crab I kept very simple. I added uh, a few bits of peppers and chilies and uh, kept it very, very clean. That is delicious. I'm very happy with that. Danny, what is it, please? I poached the king crab in a Madeira Blanc, pear saute with some fennel and celery for a little bit of crunch. That is delicious, Danny. Thank you, chef. Really felt great to showcase what I got. You got it or you don't, and I definitely got it. It's exactly what I asked for. You're showing it off. It's exactly what I asked you both to do. Why didn't these two dishes come up first? There's a consensus of the group, chef. It's a team effort, so I allowed the team to make that decision. The winner is... The blue team. Well done. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Woo! Good morning. Uh, you guys look tired. Really? Imagine that. <laughs> now, after last night's dinner service, today will be no relaxing day on the beach for any of you, let me tell you. Yeah. The first part of today's challenge, you are going to retrieve crabs. Oh, That's right, because nice. for the second part of the challenge, you'll be making exquisite Dungeness crab cakes. Woo. Each team has two boats. And as you can see, there are four buoys out there under those boys are the traps. Some of those traps will have crabs, and others will not. So bring back a minimum of 20 crabs, and the first team that makes it back to shore will be given a head start in part two of the challenge. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let's go. I am so pumped. So I go boating all the time. I've been crabbing a lot of times in Louisiana. But I'll tell you what, this is right up my alley. On your mark, get set. Go! Our boat's going right, your boat's going left. Left, right, left, right, fellas. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. You gotta get it out of here. You gotta push the boat out, T. <laughs> All right, stroke right, go. Stroke right, go. Row this way. You get on that side and row that way. Row. I pretty much thought I would just get in the water and I will start rowing and the boat would go forward. Row. Row. Unfortunately, that's not what happened. Come on, ladies. Straight ahead, come on. Let's go. Dear, oh dear. Boys, we got five crabs! Hurt. Five! With the blue team off to a strong start. Six crabs! We've got 11 already! Already oh, retrieving more than half of their crabs, the women finally arrive at their first trap. Nothing in here. Go, go! The trap is empty. Wah, wah. We got 18! Grab it, grab it, grab it! Come on, don't get it, get it. Get, 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 one, more get, get, get one more crab! Get one more crab! Get one more do we have money? We got him. Let's go. Fuck you. We go back to shore. Front, back. Front, back. Good job, guys. You're first. Both <laughs> folks on our team rocked it. Woo! Come on, ladies. Go, go. 
The guys killed it. Woo! Give your crabs to Andy. But the challenge isn't over, so let's just get our shit together and just bounce back. OK, I want all of you to follow me. Let's go, guys. A little demonstration. Watch carefully. When you start, the big secret is in the claws. That's where all the meat is. Watching Chef Ramsay cook anything, he's so sophisticated and so elegant, but such a, like, a badass at the same time. 30 seconds each side and out. Three perfect crab cakes on each plate. Now, we'll be cooking in pairs. The first team to complete 10 stunning plates wins the challenge. Blue team, you were the fastest of retrieving your crabs. So red team, you'll be starting 30 seconds after. On your mark, get set, go. For the second part of today's challenge. Let's move. Each pairing and one threesome must race to shuck, mix, saute, and plate 10 perfect plates of three crab cakes. Let's go. Precision and speed. Me, Nick, and Adam, we have a plan. Those two are going to pick the crab meat. I'm going to make the crab cakes. Blow them out the water. Then one of us will start making the crab cake, the other Five, will start making right? Five, four, three, two, one. Go, ladies. While the women hurry to make up for lost time. We're not fucking losing, I promise you. The men's three-member team. First plate walking, y'all. Has taken advantage of their head start. So look, who seasoned it? Uh, I seasoned it. Delicious, good, well done, well done, good. Great work, blue team. Let's go, baby. Oh, man, it feel like a million bucks. We rolling now. If we could keep pumping out good crab cakes, we're going to keep pumping out good crab cakes. Makes yep. sense. While the blue team is off to a quick start. Shit's our bitch. The red team needs to get cracking. You know what? You should just do it banquet style. Make all the crab and then assemble the cakes. The guys already have one plate up. But it's not the first out the gate. It's who's the first to finish. A little more salt? Right here. Come on, ladies. Right. On. Good. Well done. Nice size. Who banded it together? Uh, I did, Chef. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Well done. Thank Good job. Perfect. Let's go. T, great job on the first one. Let's go. Yes. T and Michelle put the red team on the board, but are quickly followed by Brendan and Cameron. Delicious. Great job. Thank you, Chef. Whose point puts the men up by one. Come on, y'all. Come on, guys. Who seasoned it? I seasoned it. Yes. Delicious. Good job. Thanks, Chef. Let's go, guys. Let's go, Blue. Let's go. Who seasoned those? Uh, I, I did, Chef. Delicious. Great job. Delicious. Thank you. Come on, let's kick it up a notch, Michelle. Let's walk. It's your second one. T, good job. Who seasoned them? I did, Chef. Mm, great job. Thank you, Chef. Guys, we got another one. Let's go, Whoa. boys. Let's go, fast. Come on, Michelle. Come on, ladies. Who cooked them? I did, Chef. Mm, delicious. Great really job. Thank, Thank you, Chef. You, chef. Ladies, you're now in the lead. Keep up that momentum. Come on, come on, come on. It's a beautiful color. Sorry. Great job. With the women leading five to three. Blue team. Michael and Brett, the only ones that haven't brought up a plate. Come on! The men are still waiting on Michael and Brett to deliver their first plate of crab cakes. Hands working. Let me know when you're ready. Right. Good? Come on. Michael, it's definitely frustrating me right now that he's moving as slow as he is. Come on, Michael. You're walking around like you're fucking sunbathing on a beach. Yes, yeah. You know, I got sand in my mouth. I'm soaking wet from the water. I'm freezing. A lot going on here. What are you doing, guys? Come on! Who found them together? Mike the chef. Delicious. Thank you, chef. Hey, it took you long enough. We got this. Michael and Brett's point for the men is followed quickly by Monique and Christine. Delicious. Good job. Thank you, chef. Come on, guys. We're ahead. Let's keep this lead. But Josh and Randy Let's Let's roll. Let's roll. have picked up the pace. It's a beautiful color. Quickly producing another plate for Chef Ramsay's approval. Delicious. Great job. Chef. It is six to five. Very close. Let's go. Come on, guys. Good job, fellas. Come on. Good, Good job, job, fellas. Guys. You guys again. Yes, Chef. Um, absolutely delicious. Thank Great you, job. Chef. Wow. Seven to five. T and Michelle, they're killing it right now. This is not good at all for our team. Come on, guys, please. It's a lovely color on there. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Chef. Great job. Delicious. You, Chef. With Brendan and Cameron's right, second go. successful plate, the blue team has pulled within a point. Red team, yeah. come on, let's go. They're catching up to us. Order up. Giving Millie, Adam, and Nick a chance to tie it back up. Ring the bell. Who seasoned them? Uh, I seasoned them. They are delicious. Thank good you. job. Thank you, Chef. Mm -hmm. It's a tie. Oh my god, it's a tie. Red team, get your shit together. We can do this. Run! Run! They are delicious. Yes! Really good. Woo! <laughs> Eight, seven, red. Come on, let's go. Good job, ladies! Who seasoned those? I did, Chef. Great job. Thank really you, good chef. job indeed. 
With Megan and Allison bringing the score to 9 to 7, Mika and Sarah let's go, let's go. move quickly to finish what they hope will be their final dish. Go, go. Yes, get him up, get him up. Salvage it? I don't know. Oh my god. Thank you, Sarah. You just fucked us. Let's go, let's go. I have more. I have more. Come on, ladies. We don't want to lose again. <gasps> yeah, I got more of the pan. Right here. Come on. Let's go, let's go. 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 You guys again? Yes, Thanks, chef. chef. Who seasoned that? Uh, we both did, Chef. That is perfection. Great job. <laughs> the winners. Oh, oh, ladies, well done. Fuck. Good morning. Good morning, Chef. Today's challenge, listen carefully. I want you to be under the maximum amount of pressure, OK, to see how creative you can be on the spot, like all good chefs, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Good, let me explain. Today, you are all rolling for your ingredients. Oh, my goodness. I'm from Vegas, crap table, bad news. Each of you gets to roll the dice once. Each letter will signify an ingredient. 10 seconds per choice. Step forward. This challenge will test the chef's ability to think on their feet, as they must name six ingredients that will work well together in order to make one creative dish. Right, blue team, are you ready? Yes, yes, chef. yes. Hey, chef, will you give it a blow for me, please? Do you want me to what? Blow on it for me. Blow on, fuck off, Scott. Where my fucking good luck blow? <laughs> right, off you go. H. Halibut, chef. Halibut? Halibut. That was quick. Halibut, we've cooked it every single night. I'm kind of over it. Chase. Come on. E. In dive. Mmm. Ed. Off you go. Hit it. S. Salsify. Straight away. Nice. Salsify is an awesome vegetable. You know, just picking that salsify will, you know, balance out the dish. Benjamin. Off you go, big boy. Come on, Benjamin. Uh, and it's a C. I'm going to go with Crab Chef. Oh, man. Yeah, come on. Nice. Jay, off you go. P. Peas. Nice. All right, all right, all right. Nice, 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 nice. Mmm. Not even cooked yet, but it sounded delicious. Salvatore. Come Off on, we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> B. Salvatore. I'm concerned about him when he sleeps, so I was definitely afraid he was going to choke. Bacon. That's a good one. That's nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Very good one, huh? That was stinky, Chef. Uh, yeah. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Slow down. Halibut, on these salsa, crab, bacon, peas. That is sounding delicious. Yes. Hey, okay, right, ladies. What are you wishing for, friend? Lobster. Mmm, give me an L. B. Five seconds gone. OK, B, 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 B. Uh, you get 10 seconds to decide, and he's counting. Five, four, he's counting down. Three, two, one. Beats. Beets. Beets. You can always make a salad out of beets. Mmm. Next. Come on, Elka. Imagine you're Vegas. S. Shallots. Oh, dear. Shallots and beets. Mmm. Shallots and beets. We're all like, holy fuck. Please let somebody know where we're going with this. M. Um. Five. My mind was completely blank. Three, two, one, time. Mango. Mango? Mm. Holy fuck. What was wrong with monkfish? It's OK. We can do it. Mahi, mahi. Didn't come to mind. Jesus. Crap. Beets and mango. What the hell is wrong with me? Roll, let's go. And H. Mmm. Oh, we're fucked. We're completely screwed. Maria. Oh, Ready? Off you go. T. When I was standing there and I rolled the dice, all I kept saying was turnips, 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 turnips. 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 Turn it. Come on, Holly. Come on, Holly. Come on, Holly. D. D. 
That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Thank God. I know duck is going to work. I think we're going to have a good meal out of this. OK, you've got 30 minutes to come up with a stunning dish. Make sure each and every one of you has input in that dish, yeah? In the kitchen. Let's go. 30 minutes. All right, ladies, let's go. Let's go. A couple of things, guys, real quick. Make sure you save some of that duck fat. We can put that into the turnips, all right? The chefs must work together to prepare a dish that will be judged on creative use of the six ingredients. 20 minutes to go, ladies. You going to take the breast off? It's easier to do it before you cut it, but go ahead. No, 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 it's easier. Here, listen. Autumn, she just want to be in control. No, I have to do it or else. I mean, come in, Rover. It makes more sense. You know, we're not stupid. We all have knife skills. Don't think that you're better than everyone. And don't forget to score it. While Autumn is looking to help out Nilka, over in the blue kitchen, Salvatore is looking to help out... Anything I can do? Nope. Anyone. Thank you. Anything I can do? No. Anything I can do? You want to do this right here. Reason lay these fish like this. Boom, boom, boom. We don't want to dry it out, though, OK? We want to be nice and careful. Salvatore doesn't have experience. He doesn't have fine dining technique. My job as a chef is to help people grow, help people become technically better, to motivate them, to give them the confidence. Guys, did you season? I got it. I got it. Don't, don't get your hands on what I'm trying to cook, right? Let me cook it. Uh, if you start interfering with me, we get fucked up. OK, OK. Two minutes to go. One more minute on the salt week. All right, hand me the duck. Let me slice it. Don't no slice a duck too early. It takes a second to slice a duck. Oh, it's time to plate. Uh, just because he just suggested it, let's take a suggestion. I just want to be like, Autumn, shut up. This one's a, a little over. Last 30 seconds. Nice dish, guys. Nice dish. Oh, plate at the plate. Come on. Three, two, one, and stop. Right, here we go, men. What is the dish? We have a pan-roasted halibut with a uh, bacon, pea, and crab ragu, a salsa tea puree, and a salad of crab and endive. Dish is quite clean. Endive, slightly sweet. Peas cooked perfectly. Halibut's cooked nicely. So these are these salsified chips? Yes, chef. And just sliced raw? Sliced raw, fried, and lightly salted. It's a shame, we're just quite bitter them, aren't they? <clears throat> just taste of fryer. Doesn't need the fried salsa fine. Right, ladies, just explain the dish for me, please. It's a mango glaze on um, pan-seared duck puree turnips with ham and mango and beets. And the turnip has tarragon and duck fat and the ham. The turnips look really boring. However, they actually taste delicious. <laughs> Whose idea was to put the duck fat in the turnip? Uh, Adams. Smart. And now, can you see the duck? Yes, I did. That duck's lovely. However, I've got more fat than I have meat. But collectively, all six ingredients work beautifully. The most important part is that you've used your brain. Both teams, well done. Two fantastic dishes. Tough call. Tough, tough, tough decision. I said to myself, it's going to come down to salsa fee and duck fat. I cannot believe this. The winning dish by a fraction. Congratulations. Men, well done. Yeah. Well done. Nice. Ladies, nice. you cannot serve raw fat. This incredible seafood tower is made up of four tiers. On the first tier, we have six Santa Barbara spot prawns. Then we have two incredible lobsters. I have spent years in kitchens doing nothing but breaking down lobster for hours on end. I'm not worried about this. Bring it on. I got it. Tier number two, oysters. Open beautifully. For the third tier, razor clam. Alongside that, the Alaskan king crab. And then the fourth tier, manila clams and sea urchin with caviar on top. Magic, right? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. So the first team to complete all four tiers of this incredible seafood tower wins. Now, clearly an odd number of the blue team. That means one of you guys will go twice. Are you ready? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Go. In today's seafood tower relay, the red team has a 30-second head start as they begin the first tier of their tower. Team one, get ready. And it's up to Ashley and Manda to get out of the gate fast. Going in the water. Ah! Preparing the prawns and lobster. 
This is a lot of pressure going first. We have to maintain that advantage on the blue team because we have to win this challenge. Hey, behind. Let's go, ladies. Three, go, boys. two, go. Now the blue team is relying on veterans Van and Gio to build the first tier and try to close the gap. Yeah, Van. All right, Gio, keep going. I feel pretty good with shellfish. I work at a, a seafood restaurant. Maybe I could get my team a jump start. All right, I'm going to clean this. We're going to start plates. First, two, four, six, two, four claws, sauce, no seaweed. Let's go, y'all. Take it back. Go get it. Bring it, bring it back. This is our chance. We need it right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Seaweed, tier one, done. Next, let's go. Go. Next. Come on, go. Go, 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 go. Right, we are done. Next pair, let's go. Go, go, go. Van and Giovanni have helped the men's team claw their way back and cut the women's lead in half. Team two's in, let's go. And both teams have moved on to shucking a dozen oysters for the second tier, pitting Michelle and Elise on the red team. Oh, fuck. Against Benjamin and Jared for the blue. Let's me. go. All right, they're coming up behind us, guys. Let's go. We need to get these oysters shocked, and I look over at Elise, and she's working on ice. Why am I the only person in our pair shucking all these oysters? No, they're not done. I need you to release them from okay. the, the shell for me. Where'd you get that shucker? It's in the, the thing right in front of you. Heard that. Benjamin and I start shucking oysters, but with oysters, you gotta be gentle. You gotta caress them like a beautiful woman. Oh, yeah. Just. There's no foreplay with this. You just slide it in there. Come on, baby. Flip it over. And so you get that beautiful plumpness on the other side. Ugh. My girlfriend's gonna be so mad. Come on, ladies, we gotta go. One, two, three, four, five. We need another one. What? I swear I did enough, but I guess not. They're arguing. Fuck, man. See if you can get it before me. Go, go, go. Let's go. Let's go, Nikki. Are they released from the shell? Yes, yes, yes. Great job, well done. Next, let's go. Damn it. Now the boys are ahead of us. Come on! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Go, good job. Let's go, let's go. With the blue team narrowly taking the lead. We're ahead right now. Motherfucker, that's hot. It's now up to season 14 rivals, Nick and Josh for the men, and Dana and Jennifer for the women, to prepare four razor clams and four king crab legs. You guys already lost your lead, let's go. I happen to work at a oyster bar that has seafood towers. So I'm gonna kill it and we're gonna be all set. Uh, Plate this up, slice this on the bias. Come on, Josh, come on, Nick. You gotta work faster, Josh, work faster. Oh. I'm hoping Josh just won't throw up during this challenge. There's chives and scallions, OK? No chives. Look. Just make sure you're putting the right garnish on the right one. You don't want to fuck it. She's right. There is chives. There's minced chives. Right. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. They're almost done. Crab claws. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Great job. Well done. Final tier. Come on, let's run it. Chives on there. Go, good job, let's go. As both teams start their final tier. Come on, guys, they're catching up. The blue team is clinging to a slight lead. Be careful opening them there. We chef. And it has all come down to Barbie and Robin. Get that uni on. Versus Millie and Benjamin. Me a spoon. In a race to complete their towers by serving six manila clams and three sea urchin corals with caviar. Six clam chef, six clam chef. Millie, I want soft fingers. Right now, you know, we're in a race to the finish. I want to be in the last lap because I know I'm going to turn up. Let's go! Come on! Robin, plate that and walk to Darby. We can't afford to lose again. We are relying on these girls to bring this home. They have to close that gap. One more clam, guys! Yeah! Let's go! Come on, they're catching up! Come on. They're catching up fast! Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go, 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 go. Sea urchins, let's go. Let's go. Send it. Come on, send it. You got to get it right on the first try. That's the fucking key here. I'm going to pass out. Sea urchin, minute of clam. Chef Ramsey, please say this is right. One, two, three. Missing something. 
two, four, six. Congratulations! Yeah! Final two.